Hey guys, what's up? So my name's Eric and this is my new channel. Today, we're in San Juan del Sur in Nicaragua. We're just gonna be talking about one thing, the chicken buses here in Nicaragua. Let's go. I'm riding on the 2.40 p.m. bus. They start from 5 a.m. until 5 p.m. Chicken buses are not just isolated to Nicaragua, but you can find them elsewhere in Central America and the rest of Latin America as well. They're called chicken buses because typically you would find all sorts of wares here. You would find people with their products. You would find people with their chickens. Everyday people, locals, flying their route, going from town to town. This essentially is the most economic way to get to a different point in the country. Around two, three dollars where I'm trying to go. So from San Juan del Sur, I'm trying to make it to a bigger town to eventually end up in the Manao airport. And listen, if you're not subscribed yet, this is my very, very new channel. I'm starting with a very few videos here in Nicaragua and then I go back home to the Philippines. So please subscribe. Follow along in my other social media as well, especially in Facebook and Instagram. Because there, I post real-time stories about my travel and my lifestyle. These buses would look very familiar to anybody coming from the States or even Canada because these buses are typically hand-me-downs from school districts. They're not using it anymore. They're not in tip-top shape. So they're given to the governments in Latin America, you know, in the third world countries. And as you can see, they don't do a lot to it. So maybe some basic maintenance. They don't even repaint the bus in normal cases. Many of them are still in the classic yellow color, but some have been repainted. But you know, many of them keep that same color. So that's why it's striking just to see that same school bus that you used to ride as a kid, I guess, in a different country, used in a different manner. We're leaving like four minutes late, but you know, that's okay. Like Nicaraguan standard choice. For me, this is like on time, this is like on schedule. Okay, change in plan. So I was hoping to go to Manao today, but while I was on the chicken bus, I realized that I left something. Now I'm waiting for a return chicken bus, but seems like, you know, I can't just hail a bus from anywhere. You have to go to the stops for the buses to pick you up. If not, they're just gonna pass by. On the upside, my friends in the hostel still found what I was looking for. And also I'm gonna be able to show you more of how I travel in the chicken buses here in Nicaragua. I paid the same. The fare is about 80 US cents. It doesn't look like a chicken bus that I was describing earlier. It looks like a normal bus that doesn't have any AC in it. I was like thinking that it's gonna have a more expensive fare, but it has the same fare. The way back was much longer. We stopped a lot of times uh, to get people on. Good morning again. I caught the bus for 8 a.m. I wanted to get a quick head start because I have things to do back in Manawa. So unlike yesterday, it's a morning bus and I guess people are going to work or to school. The bus got filled up really quick, so that's why in the back you can see that people are only standing. If you didn't get on the very first stop, then you're gonna be standing. Especially if you just hailed the chicken bus on the side of the road. to get off now so we're here in Rivas I gotta catch the next chicken bus here going to Manawa which is the capital so I already inquired the chicken bus that's leaving for Manawa leaves in like 15 minutes so I still have a little bit of time to kind of look around and then do some shots like what I'm doing now there's even some toilets that you could go into here I think that's what I'm gonna do You can even see buses going to Costa Rica or going back to the capital or going back to other beach destinations or even mountain destinations. They kind of congregate here since it's one of the bigger towns in the middle of Nicaragua going out or going to the north. Of 
but I'm on the bus going to Manawa and a terrible thing happened. And I wouldn't wish this on anybody, but you know, I didn't prepare enough. My SD card is already full for my GoPro and that's my main camera for this episode. Now I'm in the middle of sitting in the chicken bus and I have to take out my Mac and I have to take out my gear. Not very advisable. I have to so that, you know, I can do the video. After about 15 minutes doing this, transferring files so that I can empty my memory on this camera. Now I'm good to go, I gotta stash everything so it's safer. I highly advise you to do everything before you head out because you don't know if you're gonna run out of memory in the middle of your journey on a chicken bus just like me. So just, you know, don't do it. It's gonna be paying time, so earlier my fare was about 80 cents to get from San Juan del Sur to Rivas. It took me about an hour, 15 minutes, maybe an hour, 20 minutes. Every major stop, you can expect vendors to come up as well. You can also expect evangelists or people who preach talking about the word of God or talking about their religion. Getting closer to the capital now and we did another stop in another town. There's another guy hawking like a medical product. It's a little bit shady because somebody just walking up to a chicken bus and then saying the benefits of a medicine that you've never heard of. He's like the third guy who went up the chicken bus and talked about the medicine. After about four hours on the road, in between stops, we're entering the capital, about four dollars all in all. Normally by car from San Juan to here in Manawa, that's gonna take you about two hours and a half versus four hours, but you know, you do save a lot. That's pretty much it for the video. I hope you liked that. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel right there and hit that bell so that you can see whenever there's like new videos in the channel. I love reading your comments. What do you think about the chicken buses here in Nicaragua? Have you ever been on one? Where have you seen them? Here in Nicaragua or in Central America? Go ahead and follow me in my social media as well, like Facebook and Instagram. That's it and see you in the next one. Bye!